Good morning or day or time, Grovers. Good time, Grovers. Have a good time today. <laughs> You, if you want, you can take off your mask. Right oh, now. yeah, I can. We're fine. <laughs> they might hear you a little better if you take off your mask. <laughs> I forget. Man, I just got you so used to that. We just want you guys to be able to hear us. And so we take them off so you can hear us. Yeah, Sorry. today is actually ice cream combos with... Ice cream combos. Coffee edition. Yeah, this is the this is the warm edition um, because the... Co actually, coffee, a latte has got to be not that much different than ice cream in terms of the content that makes it up. Sugar. Sugar, cream, and more sugar, <laughs> and caffeine. Maybe I don't know if that's coffee, coffee ice cream. Ice cream. Anyway, coffee ice cream. So ice cream combos today. Um, we want to talk a little bit about service. Well, yeah. So both McEvers and I had just finished um, doing a, a devotion for the day, um, and we we just were chatting about how it's about service, um, <laughs> but it. It seems like something that would be so easy to connect to or so easy to understand. Um, and yet both of us were wrestling with this idea of serving. Um, and we like just what it means like, to serve. Like we, we, we couldn't figure out why it just didn't connect with us. Like, is yeah. service not important to us? I know, I felt really guilty because I was like, Jesus calls me to serve. Like, why is this not connecting with me? Like these people are talking about serving God's people and I'm like, we talk about serving all the time. Why can't I like connect with this devotion about serving today? <laughs> yeah, it felt pretty gross. So we were talking about that before we hit record. And um, we sort of were talking about just like where we were at with the devotion, but also like if, if that doesn't hit home with me, does that mean there's something wrong with me? And I, I'm not really truly a servant. Like I really truly don't have a servant heart. But then we decided that maybe the way that God works is that he asks us to serve out of who we are. Yeah, so one of one of the things that felt particularly challenging for me as I was watching or I was reading this this little devo um, is it's like giving me ideas of what service looks like. And um, one of the things that they, they talked about was somebody had spilled their, their coffee and they were using this um, analogy or this picture of, of this person that just immediately went and and cleaned up the coffee and it was it was no big deal. I'm gonna help this person, I'm gonna serve this person. I'm like, okay, great. Just tip over your coffee or something so that I can tip it. No, don't actually, that'd be nasty. Or poor carpet. Um, but I'm like, okay, I need to like, I need to serve in that way. How do I serve in that way? Um, and I, I feel like service has such like a, a idea of it being a specific thing. Um, and at the same time, as I was getting to the end of it and it's challenging us this, this devotion was challenging us to um, think of someone that you can serve. And I'm, I was wrestling in my heart because I was thinking, well, I think I am serving people. But I mean, people around me aren't just spilling their coffee left and right. But I think I am serving yeah. people. Like, for, so for instance, for me, one of my favorite things that I get to do, um, it's actually usually ice cream combos, but sometimes they are coffee combos. Um, so like this thing that you and I are doing right now, um, it's, it's something that I love to do with students, with friends, with just people in my life. Um, but just a, a chance to like hear what's on someone's mind and, and to work yeah. through the things that are going on in their life. And I'm doing that right after school today. That's um, awesome. Like that's, is that not, is that a form of serving? Well. Okay, so Paul and I are similar that way. We're both very relational people. And so that's sort of how, yeah, same. Um, that's sort of how I feel like I serve too, is out of the relationships that I have, because God wants me to use who I am to serve people. So I will say that in my mind, Paul, like as I was listening to you, I was hearing you say that it's not the ice cream, it's not the coffee, it's the entering into somebody's life and being there for somebody and, and really being a holy listener. A holy listener. Holy listener. <laughs> Explain that. was that. a real fancy word. <laughs> Explain that. Well, I think God creates these spaces in our relationship where we um, have an opportunity to listen and to really hear somebody and what is on their heart. And so, like, when God gives us those opportunities, that's us serving God and serving that person mm. by just listening. Because sometimes people just need to talk, right? Yeah, yeah so... so I, I think that's something that I do frequently. Mm -hmm. Like I, I am frequently meeting up with, with people just to, it's great. I get a lot of coffee and ice cream out of the gig. 
I guess I pay for it, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> it's, there's no gig here. I just go and buy ice cream and coffee, but then I get to chat with people, um, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, for me, for me, I think that's a, a form of, of serving. What does it look like in other ways to serve, like outside of that specific? For me, it's relationships. Yeah, and that's similar for me. But I, I will tell you. So, like, I think serving is. Is, okay, two things. I think it's about serving out of who you are, like out of the person that God made you to be. But I think the other part of it is um, serving just in the moment. So like that coffee, yeah. like you were talking about the coffee spilling from our Devo today. And um, I think sometimes it's just recognizing and seeing in the moment, like who you can be present for. Yeah. And it might not be getting down on your hands and knees and soaking up somebody's coffee, but it might be noticing somebody's not doing okay and asking if they're okay. It might be holding the door open for somebody. There's a lot of times where I've got my arms full and like some every day at lunch. Every day at lunch. It's foolishness. You should watch me walk around with my two salad plates. It's foolishness. <laughs> um, but I will also say too, like I like yeah, so service doesn't always have to look like showing up at a soup kitchen to do something or um going to the food bank and stocking shelves. Like service in my mind looks like an everyday thing. And so I think sometimes we just have to ask God for those opportunities and keep our eyes open for those opportunities so we can see who, like what, what people need us. And I, I think um, for you, for you specifically, trying to think of, of what does service look like for m me, for you, for you, what does service look like for you? I think the real question to ask is like, what are the things that I enjoy doing that I love doing and uh, make me like give me life when I'm doing it? Yeah, because I, that's good. I think for every one of us, like holding a door, cleaning coffee, mm -hmm. what it's fine. Um, but for me, what gives me life is when I serve people by just having a conversation with them. Yeah. But that's me. Um, what are the things that you love that that are, are ways that you can serve people through passions that you have that yeah. God gave you specifically. Yeah, so like a good example of it, like at the school could be maybe, um, I don't know, being the captain of the volleyball team or captain of the football team. Like maybe you're a great leader. Yeah. And maybe that's one way that you serve God yep. is by leading people. Um, yeah, what? That is a great question. Should we challenge them with that? Sure. And I, I, think, I think we'll leave you with this challenge. We're going to pray you out. But the challenge is this. Um, what are the, the things that fill you up? What are the things that give you joy? The things that, um, give you life. that you, that give you life. Um, and how can you use that thing to serve people? Because then serving will give you life too. Yeah. Let's say that one more time. So in case you guys didn't, how can you use the things that give you life? How can you use the things that give you life, give you joy, um, give, give you energy? How can you use those things to serve the people around you? Awesome. Let's pray. Cool. Jesus, um, thank you so much that you do ask us to serve. God, that you ask us to be present in the moments that we are in. And God, you don't ask us to be somebody different than who we are. You want us to, to serve out of who we are, who you made us to be. So God, whatever those passions and excitements are, God, help us to use those things to serve your people. Jesus, we love you. And we just thank you so much again, um, just for this opportunity here at Oak Grove um, to love you and to serve you. We pray these things in your strong and powerful name. Amen. Amen. Bye, Grovers. Bye, Grovers. We'll see you later.